Good morning, everyone, and I hope you're having a good Monday morning. Um, I'm running late, so let me get right on this right now. I just about have that uh, Yule video completed. I was up all night working on it. And so I need to get a couple hours sleep in somewhere here. But, uh, yeah, I got it down. I'm just working on the very, very last final touches of it. And I should have it posted tonight. If I don't, then something's seriously wrong. <laughs> Won't say that because something always comes up. But you know how that goes. Okay, the card of the day is the reverse six of wands. When this card is reversed, this suggests that you might find yourself doubting all your abilities as well as your overall potential to achieve any type of success. You might be feeling particularly negative about your entire self as if you have failed others as well as yourself. This is a symbol that means you lack the confidence and drive that you need to achieve. You need the overall support as well as recognition of third parties in order to pick you up to emotionally provide you with some much needed strength. Love meaning reversed? Your confidence may be low right now, uh, this can suggest that you aren't getting the kind of love that you believe you deserve. You may be feeling looked over and rivals who don't have the same loving, caring attitude that you do are finding themselves successful instead. Sometimes what is needed is an attitude change. Ensure that this does not turn into bitterness. Confidence and positivity are attractive and negativity often repels others. If you're in a relationship, you or your partner may feel unappreciated or neglected. Career meaning. Instead of indicating triumph in this position, the Six of Wands represents failure and lack of ambition regarding work. It might be that you were passed over for a promotion or raise. If there was a recent conflict or competition at work, it did not likely nor will it not resolve itself in your favor. If there has not been such a specific moment of tension, the six might be in reference to your general feelings at work. These feelings will manifest as a sense of stagnation or disinterest in projects. It could be that owning to a lack of drive, you feel stuck in your current position, regardless of the meaning context. This is a sign of underachievement. Okay, and now finally, finances. If the Six of Wands appears to you in this position, take a moment to reassess your finances. There has likely been a downturn in your financial situation. This can be due to a single negative event or represent the state of your economic affairs more broadly. If it is the former, an investment that you made may not have yielded results, or a purchase that you made wasn't what you thought it would be. If there has not been individual investments or purchases that have decreased your financial holdings, it is likely that your money is dwindling more slowly. Though it might not be a crisis, you may be going through trying times. It can be hard to muster the confidence to trust that things will improve. Work to be productive and proactive about your finances. So there you have it. I'm going to throw a little segment on here about uh, a Christmas present uh, we were sent by uh, a viewer and a friend, Thomas. Um, but you'll see here in a little bit. All right. Uh, First of all, my apologies go out to Thomas. Uh, I thought I had taped the unboxing, and apparently the tape didn't work. 
it didn't it didn't tape after all it decided to cut in after the boxing was already over so let me just go over everything uh, that uh, we got from Thomas Sabo and uh, Albert and I both got the same things here and we got this nice card from Thomas um but we got a tabletop mini tripod for the phone uh a phone tripod mount and lavalier microphone it plugs into your your telephone and you can use it as a distant microphone that would come in handy really would in fact they all would so Thank you so much, Thomas. Uh, you don't know how greatly they're appreciated. And it touched Albert so much that uh, he broke down and cried, to be honest. <laughs> um, he just, uh, see, we weren't, we were kind of in a rough financial spot this year with him not working. And uh, we really weren't uh, planning on giving out anything because uh, Financial or financially, we're kind of in a in a crunch. Um, but maybe uh, I can return the favor later on next year or so. Hopefully, once things start looking better. But uh, yes, and Thomas sent us both little slices of agate. I love these; they're so pretty. And it, it was just, it was so neat. He wrapped everything so carefully. And oh, I can't believe that footage didn't take. Anyway, sorry for that. And thank you so much, Thomas. It's so greatly appreciated. That was so nice of you. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Hope you have a blessed Monday. Peace, believe, and until tomorrow, bye-bye.